Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about tags and categories. Before we start, I'll just give you an overview. Categories are a basic mechanism with which we can categorize our posts. Right? So in WordPress, we are going to write our articles or content via posts. So every post, obviously, it's going to have a title. But to filter out or group these posts together, WordPress gives us a functionality called as categories. So whenever we are creating a post, we can add WordPress to a specific category. This helps us sort out our posts. Let's have a look at it, how we can do. So what we are going to do is we'll just add a new post over here. I have already added a few posts for this demonstration. So I'm going to add a post about media wiki. So MediaWiki is the basic content management system under which your Wikipedia is running. Wikipedia in the background uses MediaWiki. Okay, so we already know how to create a post. We will go to the post section and here you can see there are categories. Now since I'm talking about MediaWiki, it's a content management system. We will select the category content management system. and there is another category called as web CMS because MediaWiki is a web CMS. It will be a web CMS under the category. So you can categorize your posts into multiple categories. If you notice over here, this category shows as the child category of the content management system. So whenever you are creating a new category while adding a new post, you can create a new category from here or we can manage our categories from the category section, which we'll see in a few minutes so I can add a new category now here I will add a category media wiki itself because I might be writing more posts relating to media wiki so that itself could be a category fine so and in a moment we will see how it makes a difference media media wiki okay so this becomes a category so you might have noticed there was an option of selecting parent category coming up over here. If I wanted, I could have selected a parent category from here, but I don't want it to be in a parent category. So I will set it from here and I will publish this particular post. So now my post media wiki is under a category of media wiki, web CMS and content management system out of which two are having parent child relationship. So how does this help? Let's go to the demo page, main page of our WordPress website. Now here you can see my latest posts have come up and I have already created some posts about Drupal, Joomla and so many other things. So first of all, let's have a look at our media wiki post over here. And here the post shows up and here you can see posted in content management system media wiki and web CMS. We did not add any tags over here right now. We will do that in the next step. So what's the advantage of putting this here? So if I click on content management system, what's going to happen is it is going to show me all the posts that are under the category of content management system, not only in the generic display, it's easy to categorize later on. If you're doing some kind of programmatical work or something, this will be useful. Now going back to the post again. Now, if I click on say media wiki, now we know there is only one post relating to media wiki. So it shows up like this. If I go back to my page and if I click on web CMS, now media wiki, we did not put under web CMS or did we? Yes, we did put it under web CMS. So here media wiki, this, this, the posts which are under web CMS shows up this way. We can categorize our posts in this particular manner. Apart from this, we can also use the concept of categories and tags to create a very interesting URL fine based on this particular concept. So that we will be discussing sometime later. So this way, we can categorize our posts by putting the posts into categories. Now it may look easier, but if you are going to 
मैनेज योर कंटेंट इट विल बी अ गुड आइडिया दैट यू थिंक अबाउट द कैटेगरीज एंड सब कैटेगरीज बिफोर हैंड वेन यू आर प्लानिंग योर ब्लॉग फाइन इफ योर ब्लॉग इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर इंटरेस्ट और समथिंग देन यू कैन थिंक अबाउट दैट बिफोर हैंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम कैटेगराइजेशन यूजेज ऑफ कैटेगरी हेल्प्स सर्च इंजन्स आइडेंटिफाई एंड कैटेगराइज योर पोस्ट इन देयर सर्च ऑल्सो सो यूजिंग प्रॉपर कैटेगरी नेम्स एंड कैटेगराइजेशन हेल्प्स योर साइट टू गेट अ बेटर सर्च इंजन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन नाउ कमिंग बैक टू अवर पोस्ट हेयर वी हैव नॉट एडेड एनी टैक्स सो वॉट एक्जैक्टली आर टैक्स टैक्स आर की वर्ड्स दैट you would be discussing or important keywords that are there in your post so a post could could be a huge thing again this helps in search engine optimization also it gives an idea to people that what are the key components that they would find in this particular post so over here we can use tags tags would be the important keywords so let's go back to our post section and we will edit our media wiki post now for adding tags or basic edits if you don't want to uh, change the content or anything you could go into a quick edit mode without opening this thing here you can change the title you could change the date and time of publication password etc and finally here we can add our tags so here i would add a tag called as cms fine now if a tag is already existing you will select it from the drop down fine now this is media wiki so i would use media wiki as a tag because that is one of the key components over here so this sometimes is confusing that i am using the same keyword as my tag also as my category also so categorization will bring all the posts associated with that and since this post is basically talking about media wiki i want to use it later on maybe i am dealing with installing media wiki or something i might use the keyword installing media wiki as my tag instead of only media wiki media wiki now you can simply press comma to complete that tag fine here is the separate tags with commas media wiki wiki fine these are my three tags and i am just going to update it fine now if we go back and have a look at our post over here you will notice that we are having it in the categories as well as there are three tags so when we clicked on one of the categories it showed us all the results from that categories if we click on cms now here you will see tags cms and it is going to show me all the posts that are having the tag cms now if i click on media wiki i know that there is only one post which is there in media wiki so it shows up like this so this way you can categorize your posts with categories and tags will be used as the important keywords or important points that we are going to discuss by just using a single or one or two word tags over here fine as such there is no rule which says that you cannot have a sentence as a tag but really that does not make sense so in my opinion your tag should be one word two word or three words not more more than that but there is no such restriction okay tags also help in search engine optimization so how do we manage our tags and categories well you can go to categories and you can manage the categories that are existing from here itself fine right? here itself where you can see categories add new category you can add a category from here slug is basically automatically generated output so let us say i am adding a category called as programming or rather than this i will say operating systems so the slug if i don't fill it up it will automatically generate it and parent category i will remain it as none 
it's a good idea that you can give a description about this category this category will have all posts associated with operating systems fine and we can say add new category now when i added a new category and we again do a quick edit you will see it added a slug okay my actual so i missed operating was missed operating systems so here i will update this also operating systems fine now before i update so what is a slug now as i mentioned we could use the name of categories and tags for creating our url and it usually said that we avoid having spaces on our url so when a url is automatically created based on categories or tags the slug will be used and you'll notice the slug is always replacing spaces with a hyphen over here so that's a slug over here we are having so my category is updated so from here i can manage my category description and other things we can delete modify or change the category names etc from here and all the changes will be automatically applied to different posts similarly if you go to the tag section you can add new tags over here let us say operating systems or here we will have a operating system for linux the slug will be automatically generated all posts that need add linux right so i can add it over here so you could add few tags over here uh, if you want generally this is used for management and maintenance of this thing otherwise we keep on adding tags while we are creating the posts and a last point do tags have parent tags and all let's just have a look at it let's try editing a tag and let's see if there is a option no there is no option for parent tag or child tag something like that so obviously the tags do not support any kind of child parent relationship so this is all about tags and categories